I was supposed to be walking a runway today. Like. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Elena for those of you who don't know me and for today's video We're going to be doing a little life update the whole thing being quarantined how COVID has kind of like Pushed us to the side from our traveling adventures and it kind of sucks So I'm gonna be talking about that a little bit Hope you guys can join me and if you haven't already Please make sure you subscribe down below and join the Elenita's journey family. I don't really have like a name for you guys um, I think people are like automatically has that name and i just don't <laughs> but you guys are beautiful people to me you are beautiful and amazing people so we're gonna we're gonna figure out the name that we're gonna call you guys as my support <laughs> but let's get started so i hope number one how are you guys doing are you guys doing well what is it that's you've been affected on you know it has covid taking really really big things from you or is it min minor things you know for me it wasn't much uh, traveling to me is like everything <laughs> traveling to me is like uh like that's my life what the heck so covid hasn't taken away lives which is good thank god um i had some scares with friends and stuff like that but you know i you know yeah we're not gonna get into that but what i do hope is that if you're going through this situation where you do have a family member or you're tested positive or whatever that you are taking the necessary precautions staying safe staying isolated and continue to take social distancing seriously that's one thing that we have to do like now just coming out of it like we're in the end kind of in the end in the beginning of we don't know what's gonna happen i live in pennsylvania so they're bringing up the the stay-at-home order still in effect they said after May 8th, May 8th is going to uplift, but it depends on what county or what county we're in. That depends on what zone we're in. We're either in like the stay at home zone, like your coast clear, but you can socialize a little bit. You can't. I don't understand. I'm just like, why can all these other people go and we can't? So I'm one of those counties that we're supposed to be at home still even after that. So. I don't get it okay so what i know is that i'm gonna take my necessary precautions when it has to do with visiting people or anything like that and you sh you guys should do the same i don't know where you guys are at put in the comments below i'd love to know what state you guys are from where are you guys living i don't really know much about my youtube fam but i i'm i'm thinking you guys are all over the place <laughs> that's the power of the internet right so we are we're at a certain space in our life where it's like how is it gonna really truly be when this is uplifted when we no longer have to live in fear of this um and the crazy thing is like in that phase in that phase that phase is like comes deep for me because i can identify that phase in many things in my life and um as a latina as a woman and as a survivor of uh trauma and stuff like that so like so many different things um but to me it's like when can we go back to normalization when are we allowed to like at least you know hug a friend when are we at least to let like, hug a partner or something or kiss or whatever like when we don't know like how is it going to be normalized like i think about all these things and i'm just like i'm not scared i'm not fearful it just sucks because it did stop from certain things today well technically yeah, was it today or tomorrow that um i was supposed to be walking a runway today like and no it got canceled like you know i'm i'm the type of person that i'm very like happy i remember as a kid or you can even ask my sisters i was just la dramatica the dramatic one and the person that always wanted the little spotlight and stuff like that and i really had a passion to wanting to be a star <laughs> And I'm going to tell you guys true, and we're all adults here, and um, I wanted to be actor, I wanted to be a singer, all this other stuff. You know those kids, those dreams. But I never truly seen myself being that because I never had anyone to look up to. I never had a plus-size Latina or a plus-size person or a short person, anyone to look up to that could relate or they'd be like, wow, like they did it, I could do it too. 
and it wasn't like a trigger or anything like that I just I didn't have it and you know modeling for me it's like one of those things that I just started getting into because um you know I was like why not like of course like I feel confident me losing weight me gaining weight and then losing and gaining weight I like discovered that loving myself was the ultimate achievement for me yes the physical appearance changes yes guys i know i know like the whole healthy being healthy the nutrition the whole all that good stuff i know trust me i know um but you know the thing that i ultimately love that i've learned within myself is that i've accepted who i am as a person and i've accepted my body and that different things change and it really just depends on how do i want to either change it up my routine or continue the same way or so on and life happens we go through struggles we go through depression we go through you know different events in our lives that kind of contribute to our physical appearance um when it has to do with where we work when it has to do with the times we're allowed to eat when it has to do with all this other stuff so and and when we want to eat and i i definitely feel like the modeling thing i never I never had anyone to look up to and I never thought it was possible and until I started like seeing more and until I got that one opportunity to, like Elena you can model and I'm like uh, me heck yeah and and dream Rock fashion show if you guys have never heard of it they gave me that opportunity to model and the dream Rock fashion show to me it's amazing I will forever be grateful and I want to walk this end of the year too but I haven't applied <laughs> I didn't put in my submission and I don't know when is the last time to put it. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that today. Um, I want to because I love that environment and I love walking the runway and I definitely have the potential to do it again. So they gave me the opportunity. I never saw anyone like me on the runway. So I was actually inspired by their first annual uh, Dream Walk fashion show and all of these beautiful women and so on and of course i can identify in little things with them but i can't identify them truly um because it's not me so i'm like yes i need to get into this and i got into it and that was my first step to my um modeling my amateur modeling <laughs> career and then i got this other opening um here and not here but in chicago um oh, i'm What's her name? What's her name? Oh, I'm really bad at names. Um, but it's the Curvy Gala. Uh, pa Pantoya. Pantoya. I have to look up her name. Um, but I, I just know her by the Instagram and all this other stuff. But uh, I reached out to them for one of, from one of my Dreamwalk sisters. They put that there we go. And I was like, hey, like, I want to do this. And so on. And I actually got submitted like without applying and they accepted me and i'm like wow this is awesome and it's crazy because you know even more now being more plus size than what i used to be like even more now i want to do it even more now i want to model because i feel confident and yes i might not see myself a certain way because i still see myself the same way i always see myself it's beautiful like i don't see the extra pounds with sex with living in the street that's mainly the main street okay so yeah like i don't it doesn't matter like i don't see the the the, the bigness or anything like that i just see me and i want to shine and i want to contribute so i the covid stopped that <laughs> like i was supposed to be walking and i was supposed to meet um bethany bethany was gonna meet me out there so it sucked number one and I feel so inspired by other people, by other Dreamwalk sisters, by other plus size models, by other models that are out of the norm of what a model is supposed to be. And that inspired me like, hey, Lena, maybe your little girl dreams can come true. Maybe your little girl dreams aren't a fantasy anymore. And I used to fantasize a lot when I was younger about, you know, having that spotlight on me and stuff like that. But I never really thought it was possible for a person like me i didn't think it was possible and i really didn't think it was possible until i got older and until i got older that's when i started digging more deep into my dreams and my goals and it's obviously surreal sometimes when you sit down and you look back and you're like wow like i was able to do that and wow like 
that did that two years ago <laughs> like why can i do it now so you know covid took that away that opportunity but i have to figure things out as far as like possibly having the opportunity in october to walk for them and it's to me it's awesome because what i well i don't know if things are going to change or anything like that but this is for a fashion show of walking for a bridal collection and the great thing about this is the contributions that are made for the bridal collection you actually make a percentage i believe or that percentage goes to bridal dresses for women of different shapes and sizes um, curvy women that can't afford the luxury to purchase their own dresses so to me that even even more reason why i wanted to do it i'm like this is amazing i've never been in a bridal dress but i would love the opportunity to be in one one day and what a perfect time and that would be the day to be on it just so i can resemble and show that there's other women like me out there and that we are here and we're here to stay and even if we change on the outside we're still that girl so i think it was a great opportunity and i hope one day i can you know hopefully i can hopefully it doesn't mix up with my other plans so that kind of sucked because i was supposed to be in chicago for the first time if you guys are from chicago me saludan saludan <laughs> so that was one thing um another thing my trip my trip to ecuador is canceled the retreat that i had planned uh with the deeper retreat it's unfortunately uh a thing that's real with covid and we're just i think it's a good decision that he made it's just it sucks because when are we going to be ready to live when are we going to be ready to travel and do other things we don't know and just because we don't really know when other people are affected that's the issue here because we don't know but the good thing is that they're coming up with different ways as far as like figuring out the person that you're connected to or so on like possibly had it or had it or whatever but i don't want to get into that because i don't even know how that works as far as like software evading privacy and stuff because we all know that we all know that a ton of us you know that that's possible invading our privacy so it's uh it sucks right so it really just depends how everything goes and i don't know but ecuador has been canceled until further notice i don't know when i'll be going i'm still going because i want to go and i want to experience this so it really depends um what they say they said if we're gonna go we're probably gonna go in october and that is when the fashion show is gonna happen in october so if they both like collide with one another and i can't make it then i would have to just go to the retreat because i paid for the retreat and it's already paid for versus the show um but i can see about what dates they're thinking because i i want those i want those opportunities i want both of those opportunities because i think they're really important and it's it's the matter of like checking out how are the dates what works what doesn't work but that experience for me i it's a personal development retreat uh, more than anything it's for me to kind of dig deep within myself and what is it that i want experience new things with new people and create memories and hopefully get to like detach because more than ever i need it <laughs> more than ever i feel like i need this trip i need to just detach i need to just be in an open place i need to be just clear my mind and i love to travel i'm a traveler and i wish i could travel more and right now it's not possible and even in the past like i wish i could travel more but i've been limited on my traveling that's why i want to work hard and that's why i want to continuously grow my business and my coaching business because i want to be able to have that luxury to travel and you know be in different places while also fulfilling my purpose fulfill my purpose and having the luxury to be able to travel so it's an opportunity and i'm hoping it works out but yeah it sucks i would have been just walking straighten my stuff and it's just part of life you know it is what it is i'm thankful that i'm fine i'm thankful that my family and friends are fine i know there's a lot of people that are not fine so i understand that but we all go through different things and it's we all go through different things and it really just depends on what are you going to do about it moving forward how what are measures are you going to take and how are you going to survive from this because you got to survive from this you know the point of living is to continue to survive it really just depends if you're going to take control or not so um again you know my heart goes out to each and every one of you guys that are going through hard times and stuff 
Um, just know that, you know, a lot of things are temporary. It's about how you look at it. It's about what actions or what decisions you make moving forward. Don't allow this to take on your life. Don't allow this to stop you from your dreams and your goals. I'm not going to allow it. It's giving me like at a stop, like, hey, Elena, you got to take a quick pause. But I'm going to go back. I'm going to travel. I'm going to model. I'm going to continue my business. And I'm going to continue YouTube, which, by the way, thank you guys for helping me reach close. To, we're almost close to 200 subscribers on YouTube. So let us continue to pull that positive energy that yes I can, yes I will, no matter my circumstances, I will succeed and reach my goals. At this moment, we are at a pause, but once this is all over, we're gonna be able to travel, we're gonna be able to do anything that we have planned. I'm gonna be able to model again, I hope. Fingers crossed, that's one of the goals. So continue strong, never give up. Please don't forget to like, subscribe down below. And if you already subscribed, thank you so much. Share with anybody that you feel like would find this video helpful and uplifting. Until next time, bye guys.